Hi world, hi kids, hi mums and dads, hi granny and granddad, hi auntie and uncle, hi aliens, hi whoever you are. This is Tiger. And I'm Tim. And together we are... No, not Tim and Tiger. Tiger and Tim, silly boy. So this is our first show and you are all very welcome. But I have to tell you something very early on about is the only tiger in the world who can't roar. Yes, yes, I, I know. I promised I wouldn't tell the boys and girls, our tiger cubs, that you couldn't roar, but I wanted to be honest with them because they've been so good, stuck at home for so many weeks and they've been well behaved, tiger. And anyway, kids, it doesn't matter that tiger can't roar, Tim can. <laughs> yes. And Tiger says, have you been keeping at least one Tim apart from strangers? That's very important, kids. All right, keep your distance. And what else is important, Tiger? Mm-hmm. The theme of this episode, wash your hands, which makes me think there's a song for this. Wash your hands, la 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 la. Wash your hands, la 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 la. Tiger. <laughs> I've got a lovely singing voice. He says I've got a terrible singing voice. What do you think, Tiger Cups? Good singing? Bad singing? Or fantastic? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Tiger and Tim's Joke Shop and I've got my very special glasses for this. Do I look handsome? Intelligent? Wonderful. Amazing. <laughs> no, not ugly. So in this section of the show, Tiger and I will tell you some jokes and riddles. Well, actually, I'll tell them and Tiger can try and guess them. Obviously, you guys at home can try and guess them as well. Are you ready? So the first one with my special glasses is, this is a riddle, okay? So you've got to guess the answer. Use your big brains, everybody. Uh, no, Tiger, your brain is not bigger than theirs. Cheeky boy. The first riddle. Poor people have it, rich people need it, if you eat it, you die. What is it? You think about that, I'll ask you again. Poor people have it, rich people need it, if you eat it, you die. What is it? What is it, Tiger? You think you know? <laughs> I bet you don't know. <laughs> yes! The answer is nothing. Poor people have it. Rich people need it. If you eat it, you die. Nothing. <laughs> oh. So, that was riddle one. Now time for riddle two with my extra special magnifying glass. Do you like my eyes? No, they're not too big. Huh. Of course they're big. I'm using a magnifying glass. It makes them bigger. Right, riddle two, kids. Tiger cups, are you listening? Concentrating. What? Travels around the world, but stays in one spot. Lots of sea, lots of land. What travels around the world, but stays in one spot? Can you tell me? Think about it. You want to answer it, don't you? Okay. What's the answer? <laughs> it is a stamp. Travels around the world, but stays in one spot on a letter, but it can go anywhere. I've got my special glasses on again, and my hand wash. Got to keep washing your hands, lots and lots and lots and lots. Keep those germs away at the moment, kids, all right? Keep those germs away. And if you've done that and washed your hands, you've been rewarded now with a joke. So, the joke is, what do you call a sleeping bull? Have you ever seen a bull tiger? I don't think there are bulls in the jungle, really, are there? Lions, definitely, but not bulls. Yeah. What do you call a sleeping bull? Hmm? A bulldozer! <laughs> Time for joke number two, kids, in our joke shop. How do bees get to school? Behave, tiger. No, naughty boy. How do bees get to school? to school. Bees, how do they get to school? Hmm? Yes, you can answer. He's right. By buzz. <laughs> By buzz. Hey 
Hello everybody, welcome to Picture This. This is an important part of the show where the children show us their fantastic drawings, paintings, arts and crafts. You think I need to stop washing my hands so much? Uh, yes, I am wearing gloves. This is to protect the art when I touch it. Uh, no, I'm not Tim. I am the art critique. I critique beautiful pieces of art in world-famous art galleries around the world. I go to Paris, I go to Rome, I go everywhere. I am an art critique. The purpose of Picture This then is for beautiful pieces of art, of course, but each show there will be a theme. Today's theme is about washing your hands. So what we want is the children to produce these pictures, pieces of art, arts and crafts, whatever they want, something to do with washing your hands. So it could be a beautiful sink with someone washing their hands. They could be in the garden with a hose spray, spraying their hands and washing them. They could be on the street with something like this washing their hands. But the theme for the next show, Kids Tiger Cubs, is wash your hands. And we want mums and dads to email this art. Remember to take a photo of it in a landscape picture format. So this one, not this one this one and we want you to email it to us at the Tiger and Tim channel if you go to the about section of our YouTube channel you can see the email address YouTube at Tiger and Tim dot com mm, you like email don't you yes you always steal my iPad <laughs> yeah and my phone <laughs> and my laptop <laughs> and my desktop computer you steal it all don't you yeah yeah so Please email that over to us. Uh, as this is our first show, we've got a selection of pieces of beautiful art to show you. And uh, let's have a look at some of them now. So this first piece is by a little boy called Harry. He's in the United Kingdom or the UK, or some people might call it England, because he's in uh, the north of England. And he sent us this beautiful piece of abstract art. We're not quite sure what it is, Harry but you're only three, so we're very impressed with this. It's very beautiful. This second piece of art is by a little boy who is five years old called Raphael. He hasn't told us where he lives, but he has produced a beautiful piece of art. It's a ship, as you can see, using what looks like a plate. The artist has really captured the moment beautifully here. I like the sails using newspaper too, and this is exactly the kind of thing we want more tiger cubs to send in. This one, well, we're not quite sure what it is, but it looks like some kind of beautiful pink fish with some excellent craft work behind it, and we love the eyes. Um, the tail is fantastic, and as you can see, um, the girl who's made this called Chloe, again, she hasn't told us where she lives, but she says she's seven years old, and uh, she's, she's done really well here because she's cut into the fish and made it really quite special. Well done, Chloe. Tiger, oh, my eyebrows come off. <laughs> Tiger, um, are you an artist? Oh, you're not very good because your paws are too big. Ha ha ha. Yes. Oh, so it's very messy. I understand. Yes, that's called modern art. No one knows what it means or why it's so valuable. It's just rubbish to the rest of us, but many people pay lots of money for it. Modern art, apparently. <laughs> Well, I don't know who that art critic was, but he was a very funny looking guy, wasn't he? His uh, eyebrows and moustache were a bit strange, I thought. Didn't you, Tiger? What do you mean it was me dressed up? Don't be ridiculous. Of course it wasn't me. I wouldn't wear something like that. I've got dark eyebrows, not grey ones. <laughs> yeah. I'm a terrible actor. Thank you. Thank you. OK. It's time for story time with Tiger and Tim now, as you saw. And um, this is very important for us because reading is very good for you guys and also a lot of fun. And we know that you like your mums and dads to read to you at bedtime and sometimes during the day. So that's what we're going to do. As today's episode is about washing your hands and being sensible and keeping one Tim apart from strangers, we thought we would do a story which is called The Mouse 
in the house. And this is uh, by our friends at storyberries.com who have kindly allowed us to read this story to you. But this one today is called A Mouse in the House. And of course, if you see a mouse or touch a mouse or any pet, like you, Tiger, well, maybe not you because we have a bath every day, don't we? Yes, yes, we wash. We must wash every day, yes, and wash our hands and clean our teeth and be good, yes? Good. Okay. But if you do touch a pet that's not Tiger, uh, wash your hands, so don't touch a mouse, um, but if you do, wash your hands after. Okay, so, are you calm? Are you relaxed? Are you concentrating? Are you? Hmm? Good. If you are, I will begin. There was a mouse in the house. Grandma saw it first. Mouse! She screamed, jumping up on the sofa. The cushions fell on the floor. You're always climbing on my cushions, tiger, messing up my house, naughty boy. Where? asked Pa, climbing up the window. He pulled the curtains down. There! shouted Mum, leaping up the table. The plates fell with a crash. You always do that in my house, tiger, jumping on the plates. Catch him, said Mithen to the cat. That's the little boy in the house. The cat looked at the mouse and fled under the bed. Mouse, screamed Mithen, running behind the cat. I will chase it out, said Mum bravely. She took out the broom and poked here and there. Mouse, shouted Pa, the dad. Behind you, Mum looked at the mouse and fled under the bed. You like mice, don't you? Don't eat them though. I know what to do said Grandma, jumping down from the sofa. She rolled up a newspaper and poked here and there. She was looking for the mouse, wasn't she? Mouse, yelled Dad, climbing the window even higher. To your left, Grandma looked at the mouse and fled under the bed. She was hiding, it's like a game of hide and seek, Tiger, like we play. Oh no, said Dad softly. He couldn't go any higher. He climbed down carefully and fled under the bed before the mouse could see him. Oh, he was very clever. Mouse in the house, shouted everyone together. And that woke Baby up. She sat up on her mat, rubbing her eyes sleepily. <sighs> I'm always tired, aren't you, Tiger? Yes, I know you are. You sleep during the day, every day. What was that on her pillow? On the baby's pillow? My goodness. It had two eyes, four feet, and a long tail like yours, Tiger. Mouse, said Baby, clapping happily. Baby looked at the mouse, and the mouse fled with Baby right behind him. Leaping up the sofa, Climbing the window, jumping up the table, tumbling over the cushions, running in between the curtains, scurrying over the plate. Oh, I wouldn't want to eat on that plate, would you, Tiger? You won't have steak on that plate, it's a bit dirty. You'd have to wash the plate and wash your hands. And out of the door the mouse went. He ran away. He escaped. Nobody hurt him, but he did cause a lot of problems in that house as you've heard everybody. And that is the end of the story. Did you like it? We did. We love stories. Story time with Tiger and Tim and we do it at our house every single day. You should try to do it with your mums and dads too. And if you can read already, try to read yourself and maybe read them a story or come up with your own story. Tiger's good at that. He does it all the time, don't you? You tell me about those times you were in the jungle where I found you. Mm, yeah. You thought I was going to get eaten by the other animals, didn't you? Mm, yeah. But you saved me. Welcome to Quiz Corner and I am your quiz master with a perfectly fitting hat. Thanks cameraman Nick, it fits me beautifully, don't you think? No, I do not look ridiculous. Why are you so mean to me? Wash your hands. I am the quiz master, and I've come to quiz all you tiger cubs out there. Do you like this? Red's my favorite color. What's your favorite color? I love red. Ever since I was very small. 
So we're going to ask you five questions about the world, about different topics, about animals, lots of different things. And don't worry if you don't know the answers. Tiger won't know any of them. What do you mean you'll know all of them? No. Are you some kind of genius? He says he is. Let's see. So question one, the moon, you know, you see at night in the dark, the moon is moving further and further away from the earth all the time. True or false? I know you think you're gonna get them all right. Clever, aren't you? Is it true or false, Tiger? Yeah. True it is, you're right. The moon moves further and further away from the earth all the time. If you got it, well done. If you didn't, try to remember, because we can learn for next time. Number two, question two. Humans can hibernate. Humans can hibernate. You know what hibernation is? When, you know, when animals go away to rest in the winter and hibernate? True or false? I think most people will say it's false. So I expect you'll say it's false too, right? True? No, can't be true. Come on, humans don't hibernate, only animals do. It is true. Forget the humans though. Let's go to the animals. Alligators live in the sewers. You know the ones that look like crocodiles? Alligators? Have you ever met an alligator tiger? Hmm. Yeah, you have. Okay. Did he have teeth as big as yours? Bigger. Alligators do have a lot of teeth and they are very big. Do alligators live in sewers or drains underground? You know where the dirty water goes? True or false? Alligators live in sewers, tiger? False? No, I'm sure that one's true. It was false. So as well as the earth where we all live and tigers live, humans, everyone. As well as the earth though, there are other planets. And two of those planets are called Saturn and Jupiter. Is it true it rains diamonds on Saturn and Jupiter? It can't rain diamonds, come on. You think it's true? Are you sure? Not false. I think it's false. I think it, it must be false. It can't rain diamonds. True. Sure? Okay. That's true. My goodness, I can't believe it. You'll have to go on Google after our episode and read about that. It rains diamonds. My goodness, I've never imagined that. But you did, didn't you? So you got four out of four so far. Well, this is the last question. You'll definitely not get this right because remember I said there's different planets hmm, in the universe. Obviously, we're on the Earth. There's other planets like Saturn and Jupiter that we just asked you about where it rains diamonds. Well, there's also another planet called Pluto. But on the Earth where we live, there's a big, big country called Russia. Does anybody know where Russia is on the map? Have a look at the map after and try to find Russia. It's big. And if there's anyone in Russia watching, hello. Russia, is it bigger than the planet of Pluto? Tiger, what do you think? Yes. Have you seen how big Russia is? It's huge. Or no, an entire planet has to be bigger than one country. What do you think? Yes or no? Can't be, can't be yes, must be no. Yes? I tell you what, if you get this one right, five out of five, I'll let you do anything you want to me. You want to make me disappear? Why do you want me to disappear? Because my singing at the start of the show was so bad. I thought it was beautiful. It was terrible. Well, don't, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. You won't get this one right. Is Russia bigger than Pluto? True. Russia is. No way. Pluto's surface is almost the same surface area as Russia, but not quite. So what I'm saying is, is that the planet of Pluto is smaller than Russia, which means if you said true to Russia being bigger than the planet of Pluto, you are correct. And you are correct. Five out of five. You're going to make me disappear. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah! 
Tiger, you've made me disappear. Oh no, how am I going to do the next section of the show? Please let me come back. Oh, thank you, Tiger. I'm back, everybody. Thanks for not making me disappear for too long, but please don't do that again. It's a bit scary when you disappear. You can only be heard, but not seen. Well, I'm not in my Quizmaster's outfit anymore, and I'm back in my position. I haven't disappeared for too long, thank goodness. Promise you won't make me disappear again. You don't promise? Okay. That is very worrying for me. But now it's time for one of your favourite parts of our show, isn't it? Tiger's Tongue Twisters! Oh, oh. This one will make your tongue twist. And the reason we're doing Tiger's Tongue Twisters is because it helps with your speaking, with your English speaking. Do you know what a tongue twister is? You know what a tongue twister is, yeah, yeah. But what are we gonna do today for the tongue twister? Peter Piper. Mm -hmm. I know it. Mm -hmm. This one's called Peter Piper. Have you heard of the tongue twister Peter Piper? Do you notice the p, 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 p's? That's why it's difficult to say. I'm gonna read it to you slowly to begin with. You want me to read it fast? I will read it fast after I've read it slowly. Okay, so I'm gonna read it slowly to you. Remember to open your mouths when you do it yourself because it's going to be very difficult to say fast. Okay, slowly, slowly first. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? And we'll put the words up for you so you can see them as well. Not easy to say though, is it? And I said it slowly. So I'm gonna do it faster now for Tiger, yeah? You want me to do it really fast? I'm not gonna say it right though. I'm gonna look silly. Okay, I'll try. I think I could maybe do it. Let's try. <coughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? So if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, what does Peter Piper need to do after picking a peck of pickled peppers if he's gonna eat them? Wash his hands. And also, if he picked his nose, he definitely needs to wash his hands. Hopefully he only picked some peppers and not picked his nose. No, you did not see me pick my nose last week. I saw you pick your nose. I did pick my nose. And one more try. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? I did it, Tiger! Yes! Champions! Did you like it? You think it should have been faster? He's never happy, that boy. Always making me do more for him. Next section, Tiger's Tongue Twisters is over. Okay, so it's now time for your tigers or your pets. We want you kids and you mums and dads to send in pictures of your cats, your dogs, your goldfish, your guinea pig, your rabbit, your hamster, whatever pets you have. Maybe you've got a snake. Ooh, I'm scared. Um, because you know, this is my tiger. We're best friends. We met in the jungle. So we've been best friends ever since and we love each other, don't we? Yeah, I love you too. Well, you obviously love all your pets as well, and we want the whole world to see your beautiful tigers, your beautiful pets. So mums and dads, if you can send in a landscape picture, photo, to us at YouTube at tigerandtim.com, YouTube at tigerandtim.com, email, um, that would be really good. And if you can put the tiger cubs, the kids in the picture with the animals, that would be fantastic. But if you don't want to, then just send us pictures of the animals but please tell us their name, their age, and where the tigers are from. And also the name and age of the kids, if they're in the picture as well with their pets. That would be brilliant. This week, as it's the first show, we've got a couple of pets or animals that people have met. So let's have a look. So 
we've got a couple of your tigers in this week and actually we've got a real baby lion. This one was sent in by Brooklyn who's eight years old and he lives in South Africa which is very far away from me but not far away from where you're from is it tiger? Yeah, not far from the jungle. South Africa wow. We've also got a lovely picture sent in by a boy called Harry. We had a boy called Harry in our picture this section as well. That's strange, isn't it? Well, Harry sent in a picture of him and his dog in the garden called Sam. Isn't Sam lovely? And Harry, we love your Batman outfit. Oh my goodness, you look like Batman with that hat and that t-shirt on. Fantastic, the bat suit. We like Batman. Batman. Fantastic. Well, thanks Brooklyn, thanks Harry for sending in your pictures. And mums and dads and kids, remember, we want more of your tigers next time. So we hope you enjoyed the show and remember, our first show was about washing your hands. It's so important at the moment. We're all stuck at home and the world's a little bit dangerous with this nasty virus about. So you've got to wash your hands and remember to stay one Tim apart from any strangers. Okay, one Tim, so two meters or about six feet. If you deal in feet, if you deal in meters, it's two meters. And this is just a little message to the Tiger and Tim fan cub, or fan club if you like, but we prefer to call it the Tiger and Tim fan cub because you're all our Tiger Cubs and we love you and we thank you for watching and we hope you'll watch all of our future episodes as well, all our future shows on YouTube and elsewhere and on our website as well. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Hopefully like this video as well. And we'll see you next time, won't we, Tiger? Yeah. We'll see you next time. What do you mean? You need to go? Why? You need the toilet. It's probably best if we go now, everybody. Remember to subscribe and like our page and tell all your friends, mums and dads, make sure you tell all your friends as well, please, because we want this to grow together and give the kids joy all around the world. And obviously, teach them one or two things as well about beautiful animals and the world in which we live in. Did you enjoy it, Tiger? Yeah? Say goodbye then. Bye-bye.